Hello my fellow idiots, York here and we're going to be doing some Discord.js tutorials. Uh, let's see, we're going to make a bot. That's pretty much the entire scope of an idiot's guide. So shall we just get straight into it? I use Atom for my editor. You can use whatever you want. Uh, the three typical choices is Sublime Text 3, Atom or VS Code. You can use Notepad++, but it's a bit... Hmm, it's a bit crap. Not really a text editor. But, as you can see, I've got Atom in front of me, but before we do any of that, you will want to go to your desktop or wherever you want your bot to be. So I'm going to do it on, on my desktop. Okay, I do apologize. I do have a bit of a bug at the minute, so I do apologize if I sniffle a lot. All right, new folder. Let's just call the folder. Uh, let's see. Let's do what everyone does. My bot. Okay, now we've got this. All right, what we need to do is shift right click open a command window here and if I remember correctly we want to npm init which is it will initialize and give you a package.json which is important I'll get to that in a minute but I will say step zero install node I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial you already have Node. So, if you don't, pause the video, go get it. Okay. Uh, we can't use capitals anymore. I don't know why. So, we're just going to call it lowercase, my bot, version. You can start at version 1, but I'm going to do that. I think it goes major, minor, patch. Description, an idiot's guide, tutorial, bot. You could pull out of it. Basically, if you know exactly what you want your bot to do, put it in the description. Entry point, app.js. That is the file we're going to be doing all of our coding in. Test command, for now, leave it blank. Git repository, we'll leave it blank. Keywords, we'll leave it blank. Author, this is where you put your name. So, York. Actually, no. And Idiot Glee. License, I do MIT. Right. When you get to there, basically, it's going to create a package.json file with the name, version, description, the main file, which is what it accesses. The test script, even though you put, like, there's no test, it'll just exit for some reason. An idiot's guide for author, license, and just, yes. And as you can see, right there, sorted. Now, we need to install discord.js. So we do npm i for install as a shortcut. Discord, not discord. Discord.js dash dash save. Now what this does is it will save the version and name of the package in your package.json file. Now there will be a couple of errors at the end of this. Basically, I think off the top of my head, we'll see it in a minute. It's uh, yeah, peer dependency not met. Basically, Node Opus or Opus Script is if you want to do a, like a music bot or a sound bot. Basically, anything that requires sound or audio, which we will not be covering in any of these tutorials. So, don't even think about asking. Eh, uh eh, -uh. uh -uh. no. <laughs> so, just ignore those. But if you do want to do sound which we'll not be covering in any of these tutorials. But I am, I may change my mind in the future, but for now, don't expect any. 
Uh, you just do npm install node opus or opus script and save, and there you go. If you have package.json file, just throw it into here. See, dependencies, discord.js, Tem version 10. At the time of the writing of this tutorial, it's version 10. As you can see, it's here. Now, leave that open. Just trust me, leave it open. We now want to create a new file, app.js. Remember we called it app.js here under main, app.js. Now, I'm just going to write out the example usage from the npm page for discord.js, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So const discord equals require now I will say this, uh, you can double quote single quotes that is up to you but one thing I would recommend is getting a linter I'll cover that in a bit const client equals new discord dot client Basically, if you like, go to the official discord.js server or the Discord API server, whenever someone refers to your client, it's whatever you define that is. So a lot of people do bot, whilst quite a few of the, I wouldn't say more popular authors, but the more established authors. Oh, like typically use clients. They don't really shorthand much. It's to prevent confusion if the shirt helps shot someone and shows source code. But yeah, uh, let's get on. Uh, client dot on. Mixing up everything. No, lowercase ready. And it's oh yeah. Arrow functions for the win. Console dot log. Now I'm gonna do a joke. I I have to escape that, don't I? Yeah, the one problem using uh, single quotation marks is you have to escape all your apostrophes. I'm online. I'm online. Yeah, there's a there's a running joke. Uh, Hydrobolt did. Uh, Oh yeah, shout out to Hydrobot. Hi! Uh, he did a moderation bot for the Discord API server for his for Discord.js channel. And for some reason it kept spamming, I'm online, I'm online. And it uh, made a meme. So, carrying on. Okay, client.on message event. Message, message, arrow function. Did I miss anything? No, I did not. Okay. We are almost ready. I'm going to put in a basic command. If uh, the message dot content dot no, no, not dot equals right. There's a lot of <coughs> debate about you know, well, not to bear, there's a few people confused why they use three equal signs instead of two. If I remember right, but please remember, I am an idiot. So check everything you see in here with a pinch of salt, or should I say a, a fucking bucket load. Uh, three equals, if I remember correctly, equals the contents and the type of contents. So that's a string. So it's expecting a string. Again, I could be wrong. But uh, if message content equals ping, message dot reply, pong. That is your typical ping pong response. It is as old as the internet. And the most important thing about a bot 
client dot login, not log in. That's something completely different. Now, you can do one of two things. You could put your token straight in here, and we'll get to the token in a minute, so don't think I've skipped ahead, skipped ahead or anything. Or, well, should I say, you can put your token in straight into the source code, hard, hard code A. However, if you're using GitHub, that code will be sent to GitHub, and everyone will find your token, and you'll have a bad time. So what I'm going to do is create a new file called settings.json and do your typical thing. Right. What this is doing do, 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 token do, 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 do. Hello. Basically that's now saved. Token's blank. We'll get to the token in a second. Just wait for it to catch up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, go back to the top, const settings equals require, right, dot, dot forward slash means current directory, uh, settings.json file. Now, what that allows you to do is this, settings.token. Now, that is ready to go, but we need to get our token first. So, you want to go to the Discord, no, discordapp.com forward slash developers forward slash docs forward slash intro. That'll bring you to the introduction page of the Discord API, basically. But you want to go to my applications. Now, you will see a token. But by the time this video has gone up and gone live, the token will be changed. And as far as I'm aware, you will never see this token again. But let's get up. You want to create a new application. Let's name the bot. Idiot bot. Why not? Okay, you don't need to add a redirect. You can describe your bot if you want. I don't know if you can see that outside of this page, I'm not sure, I've never really added a description. You can add an icon if you want. You don't need to add an origin. So it's literally all you need is the bot's name. Create application. Excuse me, I need a drink. Right. You can create, a, you can bundle a bot user with your app to interact with users in a more conventional manner. This action is irreversible. Now, for the entire scope of this series, you want to make a bot, so you just hammer that create a bot user. Yes, do it. Okay. I'm going to remove that, because I don't want people adding my bot, because it, it's shit. It's going to be shit. But yeah, username, idiot, bot, token, click to reveal. Now remember, after this episode, this token will be changed. You can try it if you want, but yeah. The reason why I'm changing the token is because with this token, anyone can basically log on as idiot bot with their bot, and depending on the permissions I give idiot bot, they will have those permissions in their bots, then they can control my server. So if I give idiot bot admin permissions, which you never want to do, same with managed server, you never want to do that. Unless you have a very good reason. If they got my token, they'll be able to uh, spam my users, ban my users, transfer ownership, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I've never tried it. But yeah, you're going to have a really bad time if someone gets your token and they're an asshole. Yeah, just saying it. So we'll copy that and we'll put it in there. Right, and hit save. Now, how do I get my bot onto the server? Now, realistically, there should be a link, like, he, with this. Uh, do not click that, you don't need that. That's for something completely different. There should be a link with this bit to invite the bot to the server. But for some reason, 
it's in here. However, if I can remember the URL off the top of my head, let me just quickly double check. I apologize for this. Uh, Discord uh, missions calculator. There we go. You want to go to this website. I'll put a link to all of this in the bottom. Here you go. So non-administrative. So I can create an instant invite, manage dick names, manage emojis, and yeah, so like non-administrative, so like non-administrative. Basically, my bot can do all this, but cannot do any administrative actions. But let's see, we need client ID because if you see down here there's invite a bot we need client ID where's the client ID you ask right there now with the new well as of this recording with these bots the old bots you can't do this but the client ID is basically the user ID of the bot if I remember correctly remember I am an idiot you can't do this so it gives me a generated link. So I just click the link. And it will like connect it to Discord. Idiot bot. That's where the icon would be if you gave it one. Add bot to the server. It gives you all the permissions that I set in that other page. Which is kind of disappeared. You know. That page. So we want to add it to our server. Now, if you host a lot of servers, then you're going to have to like, dig it out and find it. And I apologize, I just bumped my microphone. So I just want to select your server, authorize it. Yay, authorize. Now, oh look, idiot bot. For some reason, no mention spam is offline. Evie, you need to fix that shit. Yeah, idiot bot is connected, but it's offline. And now, now this is why I like Atom. I'll put a link, well not a link, I'll put a list of the add-ons that I've got. But, actually no, I can use a terminal within Atom, but I already have command prompt open, so I'll use this instead. Now, nerd app.js let me do this where does it get snap on give me discord and boom idiot bot should come up there it goes I'm online I'm online perfect now if I were to send ping Idiot bot should respond. And it does. Now, if you noticed, it responds with a mention. That's because that's what message.reply does. It responds and mentions the user. Now, you could change it to... Close you, don't need you anymore. Uh, message.channel.sendMessage. Save. I would recommend you get something like Nerdmon, which if it detects any say, any file changes, it will restart the bot. But for now, hit Control C, which will terminate the process. Press up, hit Enter. It will come back on. There goes Hydrobot spam. And if we do ping again, pop with no reply, no mentions. However, we have a problem. If you see, I could just mention, like, ping makes the world go round. Now, if I'm right, no, I was wrong. Duh. Rip me, rip. Yeah, I know, I know what I was trying to explain, but yeah, I'm going to leave this in by the way. Oh no, sorry. It's if I have it as starts with dot content equals. 
Yeah, so I'll, I'll demonstrate that. Uh, if message dot content dot starts with equals ping, terminate relaunch, hydro boss spam. Now, if I do ping makes the world go round. Come on, you twat bag! You're making me look like a right idiot. Oh wait, my bad. I need to do this. This is why it's called an idiot's guy, because I am a fucking idiot. Alright. Now this should work. There we go, right. Basically, if the message starts with ping, you're going to have a bad time. However, you can fix that by uh, declaring a variable var prefix equals... Now, I will say this. If you join... Discord API server or the Discord bot server, if you have your apostrophe, uh, your prefix as an exclamation mark, you are seriously going to have a bad time. Everybody uses that. It's like a go-to. So try to do something unique. Something that's easy. It's like a, I don't want to say hashtag, but the squiggly line. Don't know where it's, it's not a tilde because that's a tilde. It's a back, to, back tick. I don't know. It might be a tilde. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. So prefix. If message uh, content dot starts with prefix plus ping, it should now respond with pop. And I just realized I completely glossed over a step. So I'll just demonstrate this and then I'll undo and show you what I was going to... Should have showed you first. Now if I do ping... It's not going to respond, but if I do ping, pong, there we go, right. What I should have demonstrated first is, let me just comment that out, uh, remove that, ping, is, terminate relaunch, watch this. And a lot of people do not have this check in it. And it is one of the basic checks. But just watch this. It is responding to itself. And the reason why it does five at a time, I think it's five, is because it's getting rate limited. Basically, you can only send so many messages so quickly. I think it's like five messages in a second, even though technically that was longer than a second. But yeah, you need to put a condition in. If message.author equals, I think it's client.user, I could be wrong. Return. Now, if I was correct, which is very unlikely. Yep. Ping. It does not respond to itself. And I'm actually surprised that worked fucking first time. Yay. Right. Now you just... If I can click the right bloody thing. Right. Comment that. Put you back. Put the prefix back in. No, not underscore. There we go. That basically is a bot. A rather sad, pathetic bot, but pardon me. It's a bot nonetheless. But that's part one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. But remember, I'm an idiot. Don't take my word for it. Bye for now.